Star Citizen Lore, Year 2638, A Call for Sovereignty Terra Gazette, 31238 Edition Terra Governor Drafts Bill for Terran Sovereignty By Viola Filler A political rally for the re-election of new Benzie Mayor Nadir Padwani, the Terran Governor, unveiled a stunning new proposition. Dusk was just beginning to settle and the fundraiser was making some serious progress when Hassan Kieran stepped up to the podium. Little did everyone know, he was about to drop a bombshell. At approximately 5.15 local time, Asan Kiran unveiled plans to issue a referendum to the people of Terra and the neighboring systems to seek separation from the Imperator and the UEE. The Imperator lives in an era where alien civilizations are something to be feared. Those of us who live here, where the Banu and the Shion are neighbors, where we see them every day, we know that they are not the enemy. They're people like us. Their culture may be different, their motivations may be different, but they're just trying to live, live in safety. The Imperator is happy to keep them at a distance through the sights of weapons, but I don't believe we can continue on this path. As Carson once said, if you live anticipating a war, sooner or later you shall have one. In short, I believe that Earth is increasingly disconnected from the realities of today that is causing political and social instability in all systems. This is not a call to arms or an invitation for conflict. All I'm asking is to open a dialogue. Needless to say, not many people were talking about the mayor's re-election after that. United Tribune News Org, 5438 edition. Terra's Seditious Bill Fails, by Raymond Castor. The motion for separation drafted by the infamous Terran governor Asan Kiran failed to pass the public referendum today. As expected, the loyal citizens of Terra and its neighboring systems realized that Kiran's plan for sovereignty was an ill-conceived, unrealistic idea that would lead to an unstable future for them and their children, and they made their voices heard. Going in droves to the voting stations and saying, No, we don't agree. We don't think that the UEE is failing us. One can only hope that Kieran gets the message. Terra Gazette, 92438 edition. Governor Plagued by Scandal, by Viola Filler. No matter where Asan Kieran seems to turn, he is met by another accusation. Since proposing his motion for sovereignty six months ago, the governor has battled accusations ranging from infidelity to drug addiction to corruption. The governor released a statement earlier today to all the news orgs. These allegations are baseless in the extreme and are simply trying to distract from the real issue. The Imperator and his minions have mangled the process of government by ignoring the clear will of the people to emancipate themselves from a corrupt and vile government. Kieran explained that he's obtained evidence of voter tampering and outright fraud by employees on UEE payroll. This evidence has been entered into the court system and will be part of his ongoing federal case against Imperator Messer 8. Terra Gazette, 11 edition. Shion Human Terrorist Network Unveiled by Raymond Castor. The enemy is among us. Early this morning, Advocacy agents announced the resolution of a massive interagency undercover operation into the shadowy world of traitors and saboteurs. Dozens of arrests have been made with more on the horizon. Unnamed sources from within the government claimed that the Jean-funded terrorists had infiltrated various positions in government and corpse structures. While we are awaiting an official statement, we have confirmed through multiple sources that the former governor of Terra, Asan Kiran, might be implicated. The same governor, if you remember, who disappeared after the good citizens ran him out of office after his desperate and paranoid attempts to bring disorder and anarchy to the systems. Coming up in the Star Citizen lore series, Year 2681, First Vanduul Raids. The Vanduul, a nomadic leeward race in the west, starts raiding our new settlements in the Teveran systems and disappearing. They seemingly have no homeworld. Each Vanduul clan is a roaming fleet, making them exceedingly hard to catch. Would you like to know more? Hey guys, if you enjoy this series and you'd like to support me on Patreon, the link is here. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, click here. And for the next video, click here. And as always, thanks for watching.